This comes as a shock to many people when they hear that they are manifesting something every second through their point of focus. Yes, you are a manifester, a creator. This is your essence. So, of course, you are going to create. Now, whether you do that consciously or unconsciously is your choice. Even if you don't set any intentions or indulge in any rituals, you are still going to give rise to certain situations or circumstances. This is because of your awareness. What you are going to focus on is going to expand and come true for you in your life. This is why so many struggle through their life because they never bother training their focus. They keep fixating on negative things and experiences of the past, and that fixation creates more of the same situations for them. It's a vicious loop. That is why so many spiritual teachers and mystics put so much emphasis on taking control of your mind and awareness, because if you are not going to take control of your focus, someone else will. Society, the media, and other people in your life. But my question is why should you be so passive and complacent in your life? Your mind is your stallion. So, you should train it yourself. You should never leave your mind at the mercy of others, be it society, the media, or even the people who mean so much to you. An incredible tool for taking control of your mind and disciplining it for your desired reality is visualization. In today's video, I want to discuss the problems people face with visualization and how you can fix them for good. So close your eyes for a second. Imagine, it's a warm sunny day. You are in the midst of a forest. The lush green trees soothe your eyes. You hear the wind rustling through the leaves. The rays of the sun are gently caressing your skin, and a feeling of complete stillness is engulfing your entire being. Okay, now you can open your eyes. Did you feel any sensations from the words I just said? Any sensation at all? If it did, then congratulations, you can visualize. I often hear you guys making this complaint that you cannot visualize anything. Well, that's not true. Every person can visualize to some degree. It's when you get obsessed about the quality of your visualization that you feel you are not doing enough. If you are a beginner at visualizing, get comfortable with the fact that your visualization sessions are not going to be as vivid or emotionally stimulating as someone who has practiced these skills for years. It's just like any other skill that requires time and dedication, but you shouldn't be scared of imperfection. What's there to lose? I mean, we get so carried away with this idea of perfection that we totally give up on the practice. That's not a wise thing to do. You will become better at visualization with time. Don't give up on it just because you think you are going to be mediocre at this in the beginning. Another problem people often complain about is that they see blackness when they close their eyes and are often unable to create the desired images on the screen of their mind. The solution for this is pretty simple. If you are unable to see anything during visualization, does that imply that you cannot hear something? Or taste something too? You should not restrict your visualization to creating images in your mind. Sometimes listening to another person's voice in your head can take you to your desired reality. Let's say you want to manifest a new car. If you are unable to imagine its color or specs in your mind, then you can at least hear its engine roaring in your mind. The purpose of visualization is to shift your awareness to the future, to your desired reality. Plain and simple, it doesn't matter how you get there. Some of you are becoming fixated on your sense of vision. Don't worry if it's not your strong suit. You can incorporate some other senses like hearing. In fact, Neville has really advocated the use of hearing as a means to reach your desired state. So make sure you make full use of this faculty. One more problem that I have observed for so many people is that they complain they can't visualize a complete scene or that the scenes they visualize are a bit shaky. Again, I would say that you don't need to obsess over that either. If the scene you are visualizing is just two seconds, it's fine, as long as it helps you evoke feelings that are related to your desired reality. Before I end this video, just two quick tips for making your visualization superpower. The first one is to always be in a calm, meditative state before you start visualizing. You have to make sure that your subconscious is accessible and impressionable when you visualize and that can only happen when you are fully relaxed. I see a lot of people making this mistake of visualizing when they are overwhelmed by thoughts and situations. That's certainly not a good time to reach your subconscious because your mind chatter will never allow you direct access to your subconscious. So, make sure you calm your mind and body down, 
and only when you feel deeply immersed in the present moment do you start your visualization session. The second quick piece of advice is to always and always visualize the scene in the first person. See yourself doing things in the scene from your own eyes. I have found this to be the most effective way of visualizing since it brings up the feelings real quick and that really accelerates the whole process of manifesting. So, all your visualization worries are sorted for now. It's time for you to start visualizing your wildest dreams and manifest them into your reality. The next step in your successful manifestation journey is to keep watching my channel. Click now on the video on the screen to be inspired by another video.